The Lightburn Bridge is a standalone device created specifically for lasers with RITA controllers, with the purpose of providing a reliable Wi-Fi connection between Lightburn and your laser. The Lightburn Bridge is not compatible with G-code based diode lasers. At the heart of the bridge is a Raspberry Pi computer. And while we have instructions available in our documentation for creating your own kit, this video focuses on the setup of our pre-configured kit. The Lightburn Bridge Kit contains a Raspberry Pi in a protective case, power supply, ethernet cable, and an SD card preloaded with the Lightburn Bridge software. Before we can configure our bridge in Lightburn, we need to connect the hardware to our laser and set our IP address from the Ruida controller. Depending on the version of your controller, it may look slightly different, but on ours, this is found under Menu, IP Config Plus. Yours may be hidden beneath another submenu, so if you don't see it from the main menu, check within the other menu options. Using the control panel, set the IP address to 10.0.3.3. Verify that it's saved by exiting out of that menu and going back in. Next, take the included ethernet cable and plug one end into your laser's ethernet port and the other into the bridge. Then plug the power adapter into the bridge to power on the device. Once the bridge is fully booted, it outputs a wireless hotspot that we'll use to connect it to our local Wi-Fi network. Jumping over to our computer, open Lightburn and click Devices to open the Device Manager window. If this is your first time running Lightburn, it'll automatically pop up. From this window, click the Lightburn Bridge button at the bottom to open the Bridge Discovery Wizard. The first screen asks you to connect to the bridge using your phone or computer by selecting it as your network. To do this, click on the Wi-Fi setting of your phone or computer and look for an option named Lightburn Bridge followed by a string of characters. The bridge outputs its own hotspot, so if you don't see it, double check that you have it plugged in securely and that it lights up indicating that it's powered on. Make sure you're within several meters of the bridge. After selecting the Bridge Hotspot Network, next we need to tell Bridge which Wi-Fi network to connect to and give it the network password. In most cases, the configuration page on the bridge will open automatically. If not, and you're using your PC, click the button shown in the wizard to open your browser to the correct page. If you're using a mobile device, type http colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.42.1 into your internet browser. From the browser window, select your Wi-Fi network in the SSID dropdown. Then enter your password in the passphrase text box, double checking that it was entered correctly. Finally, click connect to add the bridge to your network. After successfully connecting to your Wi-Fi network, the bridge hotspot will disappear from your list of available networks. If the connection to your network fails, the hotspot will remain available. Try reconnecting to the hotspot and re-entering your Wi-Fi credentials, taking care to check for accuracy. Make sure the bridge is located within range of your wireless router. Now you can close out of your browser and go back to the Lightburn wizard. If you used your PC to configure the Lightburn bridge, reconnect the PC to your Wi-Fi network. Click next in the window to have Lightburn scan your network looking for bridge devices. If Lightburn is able to connect to the bridge device, you'll see it listed once the scanning completes. If your laser is powered on and the bridge is able to communicate with it, you'll see the name of the machine's controller and its dimensions. If you have multiple lasers, it's usually best to leave all but one laser powered off during this process, so you know you're connecting to the correct one. If you don't see the bridge, Double check that you successfully connected the bridge to your Wi-Fi network. If the hotspot is still available, it means the bridge failed to connect to your Wi-Fi. If you have multiple Wi-Fi networks, make sure your computer is connected to the same network the bridge is connected to. With your bridge selected in the discovery window, click add device to be taken through the device setup wizard. This is the standard device window where you'll name your laser, define the size of its work area, and choose its origin location. Lightburn reads this information from your controller and sets it automatically for you. The final page of the device wizard shows you a summary of the settings you chose for your laser. If anything needs to be changed, you can go back or edit it later in the device window. Click finish to create the new device entry 
and complete the setup process. And that's it. You are now successfully up and running with your machine connected to Lightburn Bridge. You can open any project and send it wirelessly to Bridge in the same way you would if you were tethered. If you lose connection to your Bridge in between uses, first try right-clicking the Devices button in the Laser window, which tells Lightburn to attempt to re-establish its connection. If that doesn't work, click the Rescan button in the Laser window. If your Bridge powered off and on again, its IP address on your local network may have changed, and Lightburn will need to search again to identify it. A link to our documentation for info on advanced Lightburn Bridge setup is available in the description. And if you have any questions, check out our forum or email our support team for additional help. Be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos on mastering Lightburn.